Let's have a little class on bonding. We don't want a uh, difference of potential between any metallic systems in the house, i.e. the gas line and the water lines, metallic water lines, so we bond them together so there's less chance of there being a potential difference which would create a spark. Here we have one water heater, two water heaters, three, four water heaters. The only bonding that I find is back on water heater number one. <sighs> Got a clamp over here on the hot water outlet side, which goes up over to here and to the next one. The other two hot water goes off to some other direction, okay? The problem that I'm having is this is on the flex connection. Here is a dielectric coupling, brass going to galvanized nipple, okay? Yes, water conducts electricity, but for bonding purposes, I just don't like this. I don't think it's as an effective ground. And, and again, when we're bonding over to here, ideally, I believe what we should be seeing is on the main water lines, incoming cold, outgoing hot, we want to bond there, which would do across the water heater, both sides of the water heater, and then down to the gas line. Let me take you down slow and easy. Gas line being what comes down over here through the floor, black metal pipe. Here, they've got the two clamps that are going on the flex water connections coming down to the pipe extension as it goes to <coughs> excuse me, gas control valve. And again, having to go across this, which may or may not the flex be a proper bonding jumper. I would be more comfortable if this connection was down on the gas line proper anything on the opposite side of the red top valve. Here, let me give you a shot there. Anything over here, I just don't like those connections. I would like a better connection. I feel a better connection would be made here. Put the clamp here, take that location from here. Up, 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 up. And to those water lines here behind the, below the wrap and bond right to the copper to the copper or you can go someplace down low over here to make it close so you don't have to use more much more of your number six gauge or eight gauge wire whatever it's supposed to be required and then let me just take this and shake it a little bit gee that just doesn't really seem to be a nice tight good fitting there. So what do you think? Agree or disagree? And what are your reasons for that agreeing or disagreeing? Again, this is the Fox. Gordon Fox, Fox Inspection Group, providing peace of mind one home at a time since 1989.